We're now going to install Alembic to be able to do database migrations. If you're not familiar with migrations, it's just a way to track model changes in your code base so that other team members and the different environments can keep up to date as you change your database schema. So we'll install Alembic by adding it to the PyProject Tumul as follows. Save the file. We will now initialize the migration setup, which will create both an Alembic INI and a migrations folder. But before that, we need to install all the poetry packages we've added. So type. Now we're ready for our first migration. Just type. You'll notice there's a new file, env.py, inside a new migrations folder. There's also a new file called Alembic INI in the root folder. We need to tell Alembic three things. First, we needed to use our environment variables to connect to the database. Second, we need to tell it what models our application uses. And finally, third, we need to tell it how to connect to the database. So let's begin setting up the environment variables in the migrations mpy file. Add the following at the top before logging config. We'll need all these libraries for the next step. Then add this under from Alembic import context on line 10. The parent variable will figure out the parent folder so that we can fetch the quartenv file location and pass it to the python.env. And finally, we add that parent folder to the syspath so that Alembic has access to it. Then on line 35, right before the run migrations of line function, let's add the following. We're giving the Alembic INI file, which we'll edit in a little bit, access to the environment variables. Now we can move to step two, tell Alembic what models we have in our application. So on line 25, let's replace that whole block with the following. This is very important to remember. Any new models you add subsequently, you need to add them here. Save the file. With all that in place, we'll finally move to the last step. Tell Alembic how to connect to the database. Open the Alembic INI file and change SQL Alchemy URL on line 42 like this. These variables are coming from the MPY we edited earlier. Save the file. And with this, we're ready to run our first migration. 